What's up guys? You can see a new purchase just showed up. It is a 4i. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this off the trailer, and then I'll go over the car in more detail for you. So here we are, another car has arrived. So I found this on Marketplace. Uh, a good friend of mine actually sent me the link a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's an 86. The guy was parting the car out and my friend sent me the link because it's sitting on these 17 inch ROH ZS wheels. Now, if you guys know anything about my Mustangs and my style, you know that I love ROH wheels. So you could say I bought the car because I wanted the wheels. So the guy was originally parting out the car and I was messaging him about the wheels and then uh, I messaged him about the motor because although the car's an 86, uh, the motor is apparently out of a 90 uh, with a B cam in it. And uh, so I was asking him how much he wanted for that for another potential project that I have coming up. And he's like, well, why don't you just buy the whole car? So uh, we went back and forth a little bit and just made a deal, bought the whole thing. So. Again, 1986, uh, black with some gold racing stripes. And uh, honestly, I, I don't even know much about the car. The price is right. So it was just like, you know what, man, here's the money. Um, I was supposed to go up and get it, but the weather here hasn't been agreeable. And I guess the guy's uh, son-in-law uh, offered to trailer it down uh, here for me. So paid him a couple bucks and uh, he brought the car. So. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, the old sit down, shut up and hold on sticker. Some red hiding underneath there. So you can see, there's really not much rust there. We do have rust here though. Gotta love the old, uh, old silicone or epoxy or whatever they got going on there. On our computer. Time to check the bottom sides of the doors here. A uh, little bit of rust. Look at this, vinyl. Oh, the car's been vinyl wrapped. Looks like there's uh, some red underneath here, so. That's a nice touch. Splatter, splatter gold. Ooh, listen to the buzzer. Too thick. Oh, this, we got like a, an alarm system. Ooh, listen to that. Gotta love those old alarm system sounds. <laughs> Ooh, spare tire. So, oh, that's annoying. I gotta figure out how to like keep this thing disarmed. So annoying, these old alarms. I'll be cutting the cord to that siren, ripping that out. Look at this custom hood release cable. Love it. Got a set of BBK headers on here. Like I said, the car is supposed to have a B cam. Um, I don't know how many kilometers are supposed to be on the motor. Some custom alternator wiring. Looks like we got a serious power steering leak because the lid doesn't stay on properly. Leaking all down there on the timing cover. Still got the pollution pump. Shock towers, frame rails don't actually look too, too bad. We 
custom whiskey injection. Sort of looks like. Clutch fans in decent shape. So there we go guys, I'm going to bring it inside and uh, get up on the hoist, take a quick look underneath. Might as well as uh, give you guys an opportunity to hear the horrible exhaust leak. Man, that alarm is annoying. Sounds like there might be a little bit of a bird chirping in there, maybe a pulley. All right, so the car is up on the lift here. Take a look on the underside, see what I got myself into. So you can see our power steering fluid leak on the sway bar, but I got myself another sway bar, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I can never have enough of those. Actually, looks like you have some really nice new end links and new struts. So I'm not sure what kind of struts those are. Um, all I know is that he said he got the struts and he was replacing them, and when he replaced them, he noticed that there was some rot in the uh, frame rails. So not sure exactly where because they don't actually look horrible. It actually looks pretty good up in there. To be uh, completely honest, that's actually pretty clean looking. Same thing up here in this inner fender area. Like there's a little bit of surface rust in the bottom of the mount here where the sway bar goes to, but otherwise that looks okay. Still got the uh, sticker on the coil spring. So probably got a rear main seal leak here, safe to say, common issue. But the block of the motor and everything looks pretty good. Starter looks newer. Then we got this rickety H-pipe. I don't even know why that clamp is sitting here. I don't know, There's some weird stuff going on up there, which he did have the H-pipe off and um, he uh, just put it back on because my intent was to actually grab the car or go up there, get the car and drive it back. Cause he said the heat worked. So I was like, screw it, I'll just drive it home. But um, the uh, delivery ended up working out better. So what else we got here? We got some nice Bolton subframe connectors. These actually look fairly new. Goes right into uh, your seat bolts there in the floor pan. So those are nice. There's only one bolt when there should be two but that's okay. A little bit of rot there. We know there's some rot right here. So you can see here, it looks like somebody probably put a jack and jacked that up and it's a little unfortunate. Overall, not too, too bad. A little bit of rot here where the firewall comes down to the floor pan. Looks like we might have a patch job right here. Got Flowmaster, old school, proper two chambers. Can never have enough of those laying around. I don't care what anybody says, it's the best sound on a five liter. And looks like we got a leaky diff here, but we have some real nice tailpipes. So the whole cap back section of this car is in real nice shape. We have actually have quad shocks in this car, which you don't see too often anymore these days. So there's our undercar assessment. Definitely got some good parts here. We know we have a good running 302 out of a 90. So it's not an 86 motor with the uh, poor performing heads. 
Uh, so we got a good motor. Apparently there's a B cam in it. So if I could validate that, that would be even better. We got BBK headers. We have a Flowmaster cat back. Uh, that's in really good shape. We got some Bolton subframe connectors, uh, new end links, new struts. Uh, the shocks all seem to be in good shape. You know, obviously we got 8.8 .8. transmission and everything looked super clean. Most importantly, got myself another set of ROH ZS wheels. Um, they definitely are going to have to be sent out for refinishing. Looks like somebody had curbed them already a little bit and uh, done some repairs, at least on that back one. This front one looks okay. These tires are profile is way too big. A 55 series and a 17 inch, just way too much profile. So lots of curb rash here. I'll have to get these sent away. I'll get them uh, refinished up. So I think when I asked for pictures of these wheels, he sent me the picture of the best one. Uh, probably for obvious reasons, uh, you know, as long as they're not bent or at least as long as they're not bent drastically enough to where they can't be straightened, everything should be fine. I do have a really good wheel uh, guy who does awesome refinishing work. So these wheels will get sent off to uh, get looking new again. And I uh, guess that's about it for the underside of the car. Go ahead and put it down and when Dale gets back, maybe he wants to go for a little joyride. This thing has tilt. Oh, I need to work this unit. There you go. That's as far back as it goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. I think this would be a good winter meter. No O2 sensors and no wires to the O2s. Really? How, how does that even work? <laughs> like, I think that's why it starts up all weird. Every piece of wind coming through every oh, crack of crevice. Every orifice is <laughs> fucking. I love the tin gap at the back. I got it. I got the one down. There we go guys, a little bit of uh, road test. The car actually runs and drives really good. Um, need to validate if it has a cam in it or not. Just fine, oh my God. Dude, look what I found. Awesome, three <laughs> and four. No CD player, but we got some CDs. That's awesome, no pun intended. I don't know. Man, this guy deal drugs in this car. He had to. Have, <laughs> he had to have deal drugs. <laughs> there we go. Don't f with it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Get that door for me. <laughs> 
So there you go, guys. The alarm is set. It's too funny. I can't even, it's like a throwback, a little beep, beep, beep. Even got the little LED flashing here in the dash pad. This thing is secured. Anyways, um, car actually runs and drives really good. I still, it baffles me that the O2 sensors are not hooked up and that there's no wiring for them. So the car is either in limp mode or um, I'm missing something. I don't know if maybe um, there's some resistors or some sort of uh, loop in the wiring, but regardless of that, car runs good, smokes the tires good, no vibrations, even at high speeds and um, starts, runs, drives, stops, all that good stuff. So lots of good parts on here. And like I said, I bought this car for the wheels and you can always use a drivetrain. Got a full five speed swap in here. Got that nice exhaust, um, new shocks, new struts, end links, got those subframe connectors. So quite a lot of decent parts on here. Just the body, in my opinion, it's just not worth saving. Um, you know, that rot that's in the uh, passenger side floor pan. Uh, there is a little bit in the frame rails, not as much as the guy made it out to be. Um, there is a hole in the backside of um, the floor pan that uh, had been patched up. And uh, other than that, it's it looks good, right? And it probably looks really, really good on video. But at the end of the day, this thing is worth more in parts. I do have my 4i notch sitting down in Florida as well. So little trim pieces, molding, stuff like that that I might need. Um, it's just good to have a parts car like this laying around. So there you have it, guys. No major project on this one, but hey, good entertainment and fun factor. So there you have another car. Be sure to stay tuned in because you're going to see uh, the next project coming up here real soon that uh, some of these parts might be used for or maybe not. Who knows? But thanks for following along. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you do hit that button, turn on your notifications so you can see when I'm posting stuff. I've been trying to be consistent on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, so two videos a week, but hey, you can watch those anytime. That's the joys of YouTube. So anyways, see you guys soon because I am frozen.